One of, on Monday, one of the nation's greatest monuments turns 100. The Lincoln Memorial immortalizes our 16th president and honors his role in saving the Union during a bloody civil war. But while the building was conceived as a shrine and a temple, it quickly took on another role as the nation's premier backdrop for demonstrations demanding social change. For a century, it's been the backdrop of monumental moments, celebrations of our democratic ideals, I have a dream and promises to live up to them. He stood right here and gave his speech. On these steps, activist Talik McMillan echoed Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. from 1963. Dr. King spoke about the check that bounced in the Bank of Justice. He spoke before marchers in 2020 after the killing of George Floyd. Given that same call for justice, um, it was powerful. Goose pimples. I get powerful. goose pimples. <laughs> Literally just from here about all it. the way back, I couldn't, couldn't see the end of where people stopped at. <laughs> and I had my mother sitting here screaming, <laughs> you go, you go. It was, it was a powerful moment. For nearly its entire 100-year history, this has been a focal point for civil rights demonstrations. Mike Litterst guards the National Mall and has been a park ranger for nearly 40 years. The first documented demonstration for civil rights takes place here in 1926, just four years after the memorial is dedicated. And of course, after that comes Marian Anderson. The world famous contralto was the first black singer to perform at the memorial the result of being denied the stage at Constitution Hall because of her race. There is no justifiable reason for discrimination because of ancestry or religion or race or color. In 1947, a sitting president, Harry S. Truman, welcomed the NAACP from the memorial steps in a show of support. Events that seem to capture Lincoln's own words from his Gettysburg Address inscribed on the South Chamber wall. This nation under God shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. But when it was dedicated on May 30th, 1922, the people didn't seem to include everyone. The visual of that day a day that's supposedly uh, commemorating this great emancipator. If you look out into the crowd, you see a segregated audience. Historian Erica Armstrong Dunbar says armed soldiers kept black and white spectators from mixing in the crowd. And the lone black speaker, Tuskegee Institute President Robert Moton, was censored by the Lincoln Memorial Commission. He was a disciple of Booker T. Washington who was probably one of the most well-known politicians at that black politicians, um, educators of the time. There was no room at this moment on Memorial Day, a, a, a holiday that really was created by formerly enslaved people. Even still, Dr. Moton wasn't allowed to speak his truth. His original speech declared, we erect a hollow mockery, a symbol of hypocrisy, unless we together can make real in our national life, in every state and in every section, the things for which he died. Neighboring other symbols of power, might, and justice, this memorial stands immortalizing a man many still seek to define. There seems to be a sentiment that we have to remember our heroes as infallible. Why have we glossed over the reality of who Lincoln was? It doesn't facilitate a, a beautiful image if we talk about indecision or the fact that he was unwilling at first to have black men fight in the Civil War. The Lincoln who entered office was not the Lincoln who was eventually assassinated in the theater. By the time we get to the theater, he was someone who had accepted that slavery could not exist, that it would destroy, continue to destroy the nation. Did he think that blacks and whites were equal? I think there's room to debate on that. And yet he remains larger than life. You see Abraham Lincoln seated there on that chair, 19 feet tall, and 
The statue itself reflects the sort of the duality of Abraham Lincoln. One half of him is sitting pensively, his hands on the chair, thinking. The other half, he's a man of action. His arm is starting to move, his foot is lifted, bringing out those two sides of Lincoln that were so well known. A monument amplifying voices. Black lives matter! Across class, race, gender, and sexual orientation. Trans lives matter, LGBT lives matter. And some say an assignment for a new generation. I feel like we all have a responsibility. This is intergenerational, and whether it's speaking here in front of hundreds of thousands of people or it's organizing for people in your local community, we all play a crucial part in moving this movement forward. I think the stronger point there is that 100 years after the end of slavery, and we could fast forward to 2022, we're in the streets still asking this question about black life. Does it matter in this nation? If it does, why don't we see it? Why doesn't it register? A question that still lingers. And for the more than 8 million people who visit here each year, a place of reflection. There is no place quite like the Lincoln Memorial. I think it is the sense of calm and quiet in a city that is constantly bustling. The respect and awe that people seem to have when they enter that chamber and look up at that enormous statue. The way that the memorial is illuminated and the still and the quiet in that chamber, it, it's almost a religious experience. And every time, it gets me every single time. Oh, it's amazing. And just the way that you know, the way they talked about about the way him sitting there and he's sitting back and waiting, you know, pensive and thinking, but also ready, ready to act yes. at the same time. And I love the point, Michelle, about our leaders were not infallible. Mm -hmm. And the way you have to look at Lincoln, maybe with a different perspective and understanding this was not a perfect man. And, and a how, man who was conflicted yeah. and troubled and, you know, it's just... It makes people more real. Yeah. It makes our heroes yeah. more real. Oh, there's no doubt about it. Great job.